So here we go on deck. Join me, Dan Wadley, along with um, Annette DeVolk. And Dan is with United Way, Annette with Festival Foods. And we're here to talk about the diaper uh, collection that they're having through the United Way. Dan, maybe you can tell us a little bit about that because people right now through the end of July can just pick up some diapers, not the cloth diapers, right? The, the disposable ones yes. and drop them off. Why do you do this? Well, this is the second annual Brown County Diaper Drive that's sponsored by the Brown County United Way and the Greater Green Bay Labor Council Community Services Committee. And the reason that this came together was that a lot of groups throughout the community realized that low-income families have a difficult time affording diapers. They can cost as much as $100 per child. And programs like WIC and food stamps don't pay any portion towards the diapers. And so, you know, what they found was that many children didn't weren't able to have as many diapers each day as they needed which causes health and safety problems and so that's one of the reasons last year we had last year's inaugural drive uh, we collected just over 28,000 diapers oh, and other great. baby products and this year's goal is is over 30,000 yeah and what happens is the the kids are going to be in dirty diapers for the, right. the whole day if we don't uh, donate these things so Annette one of the places to go is festival right yes Yep, we have uh, boxes located at the end of our check stands, so if you're in the store, you can pick up a, a box of diapers or something and throw them in the box, and they're at all four uh, area locations. Okay, so you can do that through July 31st, and it's disposable diapers, but we have uh, cloth diapers. We don't have much time, guys, but we're going to try this. So there's the diaper challenge. Dan has two kids. Annette has three. Yes. But they've been out of diapers for a while. Oh, yeah, at least okay. six years. <laughs> and what's your youngest, Dan? She's four. Okay. All right, and I have three, and my youngest is three and a half, but still, I have, I've done cloth diapers, I haven't done cloth diapers. Okay, so whoever does it first is a winner, right? All right. Ready, <laughs> set, go. All right, so we have to take this off first, I know that. You know, Dan practiced last night with his wife. I don't even know, now you said, and I was trying to get some tips from Dan, and he said, well, you don't have to take the whole thing off there, Dan, do you? Oh, well, wait a minute. No, you, you said you fold it in thirds, is that Fold it in thirds. I'm cheating, friends, because I'm looking. Fold it in thirds, okay. In thirds, and then you put the baby on there. And Annette's already got her, her, uh, now I can't see. And these are like safety pins that are real, that are super safe, because you have to actually put the blue thing up. Ow, ow. Ow. All right, the baby is fine. That was just my <laughs> finger. All right, who's going to be for? Oh, it looks like Dan or Annette. I think I'm behind. I don't know how you get this thing out. All right, who's going to lift their baby up first? Annette! I Annette! Think I did it. Are you the winner? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, you poor baby. <laughs> Very good, Annette. What's your secret? Uh, three kids. Oh, uh, well. You know, lots of practice. Did, but did you do cloth diapers? I never did cloth diapers. Uh, I yeah. was disposable. Dan, what happened to the practice round? Um, well, I don't know. I, yeah, you came in second. That's I all right. Know, I came I in know. third. So, Thanks, guys. Yeah. And don't forget, it's all a serious topic because we want to uh, donate, want you to donate the diapers. Through July 31st, there's a lot of places to go. Go to Fox 11 Online.